Hey everyone, we're in Mexico City and we have a great day planned. We are on our way right now to the Centro Historico area and we are going to be checking out some of the major historical sites and wonderful things to see. It's a warm day, sunny, awesome, lots going on. <laughs> it's gonna be great. So we're in Centro Historico, and the first place we visit is... Palacio de Bellas Artes. See, si. beautiful, beautiful building, Art Deco style, uh, iconic because of the, the roof. Um, you can see it from a great distance. Uh, it's a beautiful place to see from the outside and on the inside. Yes, beautiful detail everywhere, glass and brass, and it's absolutely stunning. You can just go in and take photos from the atrium, but if you actually buy some tickets, that will allow you to go up to see Diego Rivera murals, and they are on the second floor. Those are not to be missed. Afterwards, I was feeling hungry. A little bit peckish. A little peckish. So we found ourselves a little taco stand and we had uh, five tacos. Pastor. Yep. Which is one of our faves. Yeah. What is tacos al pastor? It's, it's got cilantro, pineapple, pork, I believe, right? And pork. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And it's the pork that's roasted on a spit. On the spit. Oh my god. It's fantastic. You see it all over Mexico City. Yeah. Do not, not eat those. So we kept moving. Yeah. We we're still a little hungry, so we passed a little pastry shop. We wanted a pasta. Uh, and then so we got a little uh, sugar and chocolate uh, croissant. What do they call them? Cuernos. We don't know Spanish very well. No, but we're learning. But we're learning. The next order of business was to explore the Templo Mayor. Templo Mayor is some um, Aztec ruins that were discovered uh, in Mexico City. Parts of the city were built on top of it, and right. it's basically buildings built on top of there from colonial times, and so um, people didn't even know what was underneath there, and then they just kind of discovered it, and it's this beautiful, um, big, important temple. Yeah. yeah of time. They tore down the entire block of the buildings that were there and now it's just one big archaeological site, Yeah. Um, one big excavation site and you get to walk through it and it's absolutely fantastic. It's really really cool. I th actually think it sort of was, it exceeded my expectations yes. of what the museum would be um, and they did a really great job of, of telling you what you're looking at um, and sort of pointing out the important pieces of the ruins. It's really really cool. It is almost all outside, so it was a little bit warm. So here's a little pro tip. Pro tip. Make sure you bring a hat, yes. sunscreen, yes. water. Yes. Uh, we forgot water again. Totally forgot water, Seems and to I be did our not thing. bring a hat with me. Oh my. We're or put sunscreen on. We are amateurs. After Templo Mayor, we went out onto the Zocalo, yes. which is the main square of Mexico City. And there was the usual vendors and locals and tourists all wandering about. The cathedral is there too. It definitely, you can't miss the cathedral. Um, I'm so glad that we went inside. Yeah, it's like one of the oldest churches in North America. It's got a lot of really cool stuff on the inside, including this pendulum that hangs from the ceiling underneath the main sort of altar area and the pendulum marks um, the shifting foundations of the church itself so um, it's a really cool thing to see I think. If you're in that area and you're looking for a stunner of a lunch, yes, we stunner. cannot recommend enough Balcon de Zocalo. It's on the sixth floor I believe of the hotel. Well it's on the roof basically. Yeah it's on the roof and it's really really awesome. The restaurant itself is beautiful. Probably one of the most beautiful restaurants I've ever been to, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just on this gorgeous terrace that overlooks the Zocalo. We made a reservation in advance, mm -hmm. um, which was awesome. We were sitting as close to um, the view as possible. So that is a, a high recommendation yeah. from us. And the cocktails were great. Yeah, I think that's probably one of the best mojitos I've had possibly ever, definitely here. And the food was amazing as well. After the Zocalo, we wandered back to Palacio de Bellas Artes. Mm -hmm. But on the way, there's this amazing old school bar, bar restaurant? restaurant called La Opera. It's from the 1870s and it's amazing inside. It's, it's almost like entering a museum. Yeah. Pancho Villa, the revolutionary leader, apparently visited there in 1910. Yeah. 
and during his visit, maybe the service wasn't good enough. We're not sure. He fired his pistolero. That's right. I don't know if I have that right. And there's a bullet hole in the ceiling, which is nicely marked. Yes. Um, yeah, you'll be able to find it. Uh, but if you can't find it, ask a bartender. Yeah, but don't miss that place. Go in if you're right there. Even if you don't want to eat, just grab a drink. amazing day today, we did. exploring uh, the sites of Centro Historico. Thank you very much for joining us. And if you like the video, remember to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification button so that you know when we have videos ready to share. Thanks very much. We gotta get going before it rains. We do. The clouds are coming in like every day. They do. Oh my god. Oh Here, my we god. Go. Here we go. Here we go.